Welcome to Natty's Crafts. I'm Natalie. I always do all the crafting and I'm doing a voiceover over my intro because I didn't post it uh, or I didn't create an intro. So I'm using an old one and just putting my new words on it. So today we're actually making something for my dream box that I bought about a year and a half ago now and I really just filled it up with junk and haven't really done anything since. Haven't truly organized it or anything. So we're not organizing today, but we are going to at least make it a little bit prettier. So be sure to leave a comment down below. Make sure to give the video a big thumbs up and make sure to hit the bell whenever you subscribe so that you know when the next video comes out. Uh, I think that's all the YouTube rules is what I'm saying there, I think. Okay, so let's go ahead and go take a look. So here's what my dream box looks like right now. This is just the middle part that I sit in front of when I'm creating my videos. And it looks like a big hoarder's mess, which I guess as a crafter, I, I am somewhat of a hoarder. So there's my hoard. Um, and so we're going to just fix that. So here is the print that I'm going to make. I had to actually design it because everything I could find online, I couldn't make work because I only have 12 by 12 paper. I don't have any paper that's bigger. So I am making this work on this regular 12 by 12 cardstock that I got from probably, I'm guessing, Hobby Lobby, maybe Michaels. And then after I've cut those out, I just for this little middle section, I need eight of those pieces. Now, each of the covers for the, for the long boxes is a whole page of paper, which may seem wasteful for some, and I definitely understand that. Uh, but if you get some of this paper that's on discount at Hobby Lobby and they have it for like $1.99 or $2.99, it's really not that bad. So, you know, and you can just use the backside usually. The backside is white or it may have a good print on the backside. So anyway, so that's not what I'm doing. But I am using some of the craft paper from Hobby Lobby that's on sale. And I, you can see I'm not organizing these drawers in any way. I'm simply placing the covers in front of the junk that's inside. Now, do I need to go back and organize these drawers? Absolutely, <laughs> 100%, because I will not know what's inside without opening each drawer, which is why I think most people label them, but I don't, I have my whole kitchen labeled and I don't want the rest of my house labeled. I, I just don't, I just don't want it. So I'm gonna try to stay away from that. So I'm just putting these covers on both sides. I haven't decided what to do yet in the middle there. You can see there's a plastic bin in there from the Dollar Tree and then there's the pen bin there at the bottom. So I'm not sure what to do with all that. Now the only thing I adjusted was the, the fabric up at the top where that red piece is. That's the only thing that I adjusted a little bit. So this is how it looks once it's, once it's got the papers on. It just looks 100% better and I literally did nothing but add covers to the front of the drawers. And it just looks so much better. It can get even better once I organize, but I'm not there yet. I'll get there eventually. I thank you so much for stopping by today. That's all I've got today. I just wanted to show you uh, one way to update a dream box if you have one. Uh, and I sure wish that you would go ahead and give the video a big thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and make sure to subscribe. It sure would be nice to have everyone subscribe. It sure would be. And if you give the video a big thumbs up, I'm sorry, if you give, um, hit the bell, hit the bell when you subscribe so you know when the next video comes out. So remember to appreciate today as tomorrow is never promised. And I sure do appreciate y'all for stopping by. Y'all have a great one.